Right oh you bunch of scallywags. Let's see what we got today. You can probably see by the title of said video that you may be watching, we've got a CB radio which came from none other than eBay. Now, I can already, the size of the box gives me an indication that either one thing's missing or one thing's going to be crammed in there massively because I'll show you the size of the box in a minute. But there should be an antenna along with this radio and, well, he's either not sent me the antenna, because it should be a long one, or he's curled it up inside the box and it's probably going to be bent, but I'm not going to judge too early, you lot. Another pointless unboxing. It's been a long time since I've done a pointless unboxing. I used to do a lot of pointless unboxings, for those of you that aren't familiar with this channel. So here we go, another completely pointless unboxing. Let's go! Righty oh you lot. As I said, another completely pointless unboxing. I think I'm literally going to title this video CB Radio from eBay. And um, I'm going to let you lot ponder as to what the radio might be. Um, normally, I normally put... Oh, wait slide I normally put the title of said radios or whatever in in the title no the name of said radios in the title but um, no, I think I might not this time and the reason oh, bloody bloody. I'll explain the reason why I got this in a minute and I'll tell you what it smells already what's that all about either come from a very musty home or the box has been left out and it's gone slightly wet and damp but in oh yeah very musty inside we have a midland some of you lot will already know what i've bought oh so we've got We've got PL259 on the end there. We've got a uh, cigarette adapter and the little end to go in there. Um, oh, it looks like he's undone it and he's... Oh well, he has, he's curled it up in the box, so I hope it's not bent. That's the base of said extra antenna that comes with it. Another um, little battery compartment. You can charge. It looks like I need. Do I need to buy it? There's no batteries in there, surely. I must better take that apart and put the batteries in there. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got a little antenna. Whether that works or not, I don't know. It's definitely seen better days. Uh, oh, it's not even an antenna for this radio. This is a. 144 to 430 megahertz antenna so this antenna doesn't even go with this radio well that is already a disappointment because on the pictures to this i couldn't see that writing and i assumed that it was an antenna for this radio so this is doesn't even work with, that, with this radio so that's no good we've got another midland adapter with an so239 and another cigarette plug um, and uh, you know what oh, we've got another one here another adapter with another SO239 and another cigarette plug there we go we've got screwed up in the bottom of the box the little case to put the radio in and we've got another antenna which I strongly suspect or it may be, I don't know if that's broken or what, this may be the original antenna, I don't know. Um, and inside here, bent up inside the box, with a slight curve on it, is the whip that goes inside that other antenna that I showed, the other bottom that I showed you. Right, so here we go. 
inside this box. Hopefully we've got everything else we need inside this box and all of this stuff here is just extra stuff that happened to come with it because, um, you know, I got this because the intention was me and the kids, um, we, we go around we have the PMR radios, you know, um, but the little kiddie ones that we've got, they're not very good. And so the plan is, I've got CB radio obviously at home, as you all know, home base. I've also got CB radio in the car and also in another place. Um, so the plan is, we've got CB. Now, one, one person could be like to play games. So one person can be, you know, in the car, in the base or at home, sitting on this chair with the CB pardon me, and the other ones can be running around the streets, we can all be running around the streets, um, because we like to run around and talk to each other, oh my god, I've got hiccups, excuse me, and talk to each other, anyway, and also when we go on holidays, um, these CB ones, these go a lot further and a lot better than the little kiddie PMR ones, um, this will be 4 watts, the little kiddie PMR ones are half a watt, and we go down the bottom of the campsite and we run out of range, you know, with the little kid ones, with the CB ones, we can do a bit better. Now this is a, this is a lot more beaten up than I thought it was going to be going by um, the pictures and that. That's why I'm hoping that everything else is okay and the radio itself is okay. Because, you know, I got it a lot cheaper than it would be to buy a brand new. And I got it a lot cheaper. Well, it was a little bit cheaper than the other ones that were also for sale that were second hand. And this one, I was particularly interested because it come with this other antenna on here and I, I thought it come with a load of other antennas as well but we've just learned that they're the wrong antennas so I'm already a bit disappointed but never mind so we've got some instructions with the Midland CB transceivers sticker and some instructions now this is looking fairly promising look we've got everything so this looks like this extra stuff is all extra so everything we've got here what's this is this another oh we've got another Midland sticker look that's handy nice um, oh what else we got in the bottom of this box um, uh, what we got here ordinary midland need extraordinary people I don't know some kind of midland paraphernalia that tells you about all the different midland radios oh they even make they even make cameras I didn't realize midland made cameras yeah different radios PMR ones CBs that's interesting Right, so that's the box out of the way. In case you don't realise, it's a Midland 42. Um, I thought it was the 42 DS, but it's not. Oh, it is the DS. 42 DS. Nice. So, let's start. We've got another one. So I've got that one there. But that's, uh, I think, I don't know what that is. But I've got this other one here, which we can obviously put batteries in and we can plug in and charge. I don't know if I've got the right charger for that or not. But um, So we've got that. Uh, so we've got an adapter plug, but it's the wrong plug. Now I'm confused about this. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the crack is with this. Some of you lot might be more clued up with these Midland handhelds, and you know, looking at this in the pictures, I'm assuming that this one was imported and from Europe because it hasn't got an English plug on it. This is the European plug. Um, 230 volts, 50 hertz, 14 volt DC, 120 milliamps, uh, uh, max power consumption 6.2 watts. Where's the English plug? But I was looking on the internet and all of them have this. None of them have an English plug. So anyone that's more clued up, uh, let me know what's the reason for that. So here's the little radio itself. Uh, it, man, it's dirty. Look at that. It's very dirty. I hope it works all right. Um, what a state. What an absolute state. CB transceiver, duty cycle percentage on one hour, TX 5%, RX 5%, standby 90%, rated voltage 12.6 volts. Well. I hope it works all right because it's a proper state. I mean, I can clean dirt off, um, but it's uh, you know some people just don't look after things, do they? But anyway, and we've got another one of these. This one uh, hasn't got any 
bottom, any light on it or anything like that for charging. Um, looks like we've got a little clip to put on the back. So we've got another one of these, a new one that's obviously not been used with an SO239 and the, uh, the cigarette plug. And that one obviously clips into the bottom of the radio. Now seeing as this one's brand new and hasn't been used, I'm going to put this one back and I'm going to plug what one looks like is the best one. I've got three of them here. Which one looks like it's the best one and most likely to work? I don't know. Uh, let's try this one. Let's stick this one on. Let's stick that. Yeah, that goes on there like that. Right, I haven't got any batteries and I haven't got the right plug to plug it into the mains because I've got the wrong plug. So, let's put that back in there. I'm going to plug it into me power supply with the uh, little cigarette plug. So bear with me a minute. Right, so I've been playing around with um, with this other antenna here. Um, this is all broken here and also um, it doesn't even fit. So what was the point in that? It obviously doesn't, it's not, it's not, it's not for this radio. Um, had the little adapter on there, but there's nothing for this, it doesn't fit it, so that's no good. So that antenna don't fit. The only one that does fit on it is this one. It fits on, it's very wobbly and broken, but it does fit. So let's see, power supply's on, let's see if the radio turns on. It does. Scorch seems to work. Oh, it's in PL, it's in Poland. How do we change it to UK then? Right. Bear with me while I work out how to change it to UK 40 because at the moment it's on, it's on European. Right. So uh, it's taken me a little while to work out how to change the bands on this. So I've got plugged in. Look. So to change the <laughs> to change the bands, I could have just looked on the instruction book. But anyway, I knew it would be something like this. I was just holding the AF button and turning it on and off. But you have to hold um, the SC and the AF button, and then turn the rig on and then let go and then press the channel up or down buttons and then you can change through the different bands so we're now back we're on the UK band now uh, well I've got it on channel 19 I don't know what P.S means oh, that means I've got the squelch up um, and it, it always when you turn this on it always comes into lock now looking at um, the pictures on on there this is the proper antenna for it this is the right antenna for it so at least I've got one good antenna that works um, the other ones I don't know what I'm gonna do I've got a funny feeling that that little adapter is meant to have meant to have um, something else on it so you know it works I mean I can turn the other I can turn the rig on in the background here and I'll key up and it works Got a bit of a hum with it though. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. We're definitely, oh, bit, bit of feedback. We're definitely working. It's just a bit crap. So, it does transmit and it does work. And according to the little meter there, it is transmitting. Oh, it's gone down. Oh, I was going to say it is transmitting the 4 4 watts, but it goes down. That's on low. So it starts off transmitting the full 4 watts and then it goes down. That's not very good. Yeah. So now it's only transmitting 2 watts. So I suspect 
If I hold the antenna like this, oh now it's gone down again. Yeah, it's uh, it's not very good. This isn't very good at all. So what I'm what I've already done actually is I've sent a message to the eBay person, and I've literally said, you know, you know the usual crap, right? They always say, oh, due to the nature of the hobby, electrics, there are no returns. Well, a load of bollocks, that is. You know, I've sent a message to the person already because I was very disgruntled and upset with the rest of the, the, the state of this, really, and the fact that the antennas don't fit. Um, this is the only one that works. But now, see, uh, it goes down, you see. If you hold it on, the power just goes down the longer you hold it on. So, and it's connected to the power supply perfectly. So, I might try it with the batteries. I might stick a, some batteries in. I haven't got any batteries. I might stick some batteries in a battery pack. How do we undo this? Look, like that. I might stick some batteries in this battery pack and try it with batteries but it should still transmit the full power um, especially being connected to a power supply so yeah man uh, you know i'm going to try and get some refund either that or i'm just going to send the whole lot back because you know i can deal with the state of it the actual mess and the dust and the dirt in there i can clean all of that and i'm upset that the aerials he sent doesn't work and the state of these um but the fact that the radio doesn't seem to work properly so it, it starts off transmitting four watts and then it just goes down and down and down um you know i've had loads of handheld cbs and i've sat here on the bench and i can key up and we get four watts constant key so this is you know this isn't working right at all so, not a good purchase. Right, so, to conclude then, uh, another pointless unboxing. Let's, uh, I don't know what one's the better one actually. This one's probably the better one, isn't it? I'm going to stick some batteries in here and, and see if it's any better, um, like that. Um, but, you know, massive massively disappointed to tell you the truth um you know so it's uh it's in a lot worse condition than was expected from the pictures but before any of you point this out this is the reason this is the fun and games of ebay but that doesn't mean somebody should be able to get away with selling a crap thing and not describing it properly you know if he had described a uh, product or radio is dirty some adapters may or may not work the antennas that come with the radio are not the right antennas for the radio but they do come with it which that's fine but um, none of that was described so there we go you look there we go the fun and games um, I may end up keeping this you know if I can talk to the seller and uh, he turns around and says, "All right, no problem. Okay, my mistake. I'll uh, I'll send you some refund. Fine. I'm happy with that. Um, I like honesty, and I like people being honest. So we can deal with that. If he turns around and tries to argue and says, "Oh well, it's this. Oh, it's that. There's nothing wrong with it," then I'll just go to eBay and uh, get my money back through eBay. Simple as that. And then I won't be keeping this. But if I do end up keeping this. I think this will warrant a video of cleaning it up and repairing it. Um, I do know, well I don't know how, but I know of a way, um, and if I can't do it I know somebody who can, but uh, take it apart and um, you know repair it, get it to transmit its full 4 watts. So, nice. Very nice. I think this is also older than was stated. It was supposed to be a, a new one that was only used a couple of times out in the field. Well, it's been used more than a couple of times, I can tell you that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's carry on. I'll see you on the next one. We're going to have loads more CB-related stuff coming up, and loads of it, and I literally mean loads. I mean, I think this week you've got three CB videos. I mean, this will be the last one 
of the week on the Friday. You've already had two. And there's going to be some more. There's loads coming up, you lot. So I'm going to catch you on the next one. All the best. And if you're the idiot that sold me this, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> I'll catch you later on, you lot. Thanks for watching. Well, here we are, you lot. And I've got with me, if I turn the light on, I've got the said radio with me. I dare say some of you lot yesterday, um, when I was, well, not yesterday for you, but yesterday for me, um... I'm probably shouting at the screen saying you've done this wrong you've done that wrong you know give the give the thing a chance before you contact the seller and complain or whatever you've probably been saying so what I've done I was doing a bit of experimenting yesterday and um, uh, you know this thing it, it can't even it won't even transmit a, a few feet there's something there is definitely something wrong with it um, but I'm still determined to find out if it's me that's not using it properly rather than uh, the thing actually faulty. So the only battery case that works is this one. All the other ones, all the little springs for the batteries have snapped off. So we've only got one working battery case. And um, yesterday when I was testing it on the bench, I had it plugged into the power supply. So it would have been getting constant 13.8 volts anyway, but it still wouldn't transmit um, very many watts. Um, so if you can see there now, hopefully, um, alright, so I've got it in high power, the light's gone off, and if I, if I transmit, it's only going up there, whereas it should go all the way up to the 4 watts, it's doing about 2.5 watts, and that's every time, that light, I wish that light would stay on, so we're only doing about 2.5 watts, it should go to the 4.4, and yesterday it was going to the 4, then dropping back, and now it won't go to the 4 at all. So, I've tried playing with the aerial connection, um, you know, there's nothing I can do about that, it, it, it's fine as it is, it just won't transmit full 4 watts. Um, I've done an experiment, I've got a friend who lives literally down the end of the road, I mean, you can walk there in 30 seconds, it's literally down the end of the road. Um, he had his home base, he was on his home base set up with his area on the side of his house and I was standing at the other end of the road and he couldn't pick me up. He only picked me up when I literally stood outside his house. Um, so there, uh, look, there's something wrong with this, it's simple as that. But I'm going to give it another fair chance. So I've got it with me today, I'm on the way to work and uh, I'm just going to leave it on. Four fully charged batteries and uh, see what happens. I want to give this a proper chance before I complain. Because I don't want any of you lot saying, Hey, you didn't give it a chance. It's just you. You don't understand how to use it. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. So, yeah, I conducted a little experiment yesterday. Like I say, walked down the road and that. But um, what I reckon is, um, I reckon that they've used it with maybe an adapter with that other antenna. Well, they've done something with the wrong antenna and um, it's damaged the outputs. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm only speculating at the moment. Um, but it's definitely not right. That should be four watts. We're at two and a half. So it should be four. But yeah, man, I'm going to give it a fair chance. I'm going to try and use it today and uh, see how it goes. So, there we go. I did get a message back from the seller because yesterday, what well, was yesterday for me, um, but it was the same video for you, I sent him a message because I, I said I weren't happy about the antennas. They don't fit. The ones you sent don't fit. And also... Um, the, the transmit power and everything's all wrong everything's all wrong about the radio it doesn't, doesn't seem to work as well as it should do and um, he just said oh I don't know what to do in such situations I clearly marked it um, as uh, it comes with everything you see I said yeah but what I can see you know I don't know if that if that is the correct ones for this radio or not um, the fact, you know, you didn't state in the listing 
that um, you're selling it with antennas that don't fit the radio, which would be fair enough if you did, though. Fair enough, get some spare antennas for something else, but you didn't say that. And then he just said at the bottom, I think you're handling it wrong, right to eBay. So, you know, that's what I've done. Well, I haven't done it yet, um, but that's what I've done so far, I mean. And um, what I'm probably going to do is, I'm, you know, if this doesn't improve and if this doesn't work properly, I'm just going to go to eBay and see if I can get a partial refund. I'm not looking for a, the whole refund. I don't want to get the whole lot for free. But it would be nice to get a bit of a refund because I did pay a hefty amount for this and I wouldn't and I don't think it's worth that. It would be worth it if it worked properly, but it don't work properly, so it ain't worth it. We'll see how the day goes, you lot. Right then you lot. So I'm sitting here. I'm I'm gonna do some experiments now. Not right now, but I will do. I'm sitting here and um I'm trying to find out information about this radio because like I said it might well be me just not understanding this um, this radio properly, which is why it's not working. So I've been watching several videos on YouTube about this radio. And uh, the first thing that I thought was, well, when I, if you remember earlier on in this video, when I tested this on the bench, I had it plugged in with the adapter uh, to a power supply, 13.8 volts. Um, and it was only trying, it was only keying up um, to less than four watts. It's about two and a half watts. Now you'd think it would do the full four watts. Now, I've just seen a video that says the smaller battery pack with the four AA batteries in, well, the, sorry, the six AA batteries in, and because that only generates about nine watt uh, volts or something, um, it'll only do about two watts maximum power and if you want to do 4 watts with battery power you need the bigger battery and then you get your 12 volts which makes perfect sense and I'd already thought about that with this maybe this is why it's only doing low power but then I thought again it only did low power when I had it connected to um, the power supply and um, I can't test the bigger battery pack because they're broken um, so I'm gonna have to try and repair the little springs on the bigger battery pack And then I might be able to stick some batteries in there and get that to work and we'll see what it transmit like then the other thing that um, the same video said um, Was the antenna what comes with it, which is this one is rubbish and it won't transmit full power with this antenna so I Didn't intend on using this antenna because I thought that it come with a bigger antenna as we all saw but it just doesn't fit it doesn't fit on the fitting it's not the right antenna so unless unless that antenna fits on the little SO239 socket which goes with the adapters which I thought about last night and that is possible and some of you are probably shouting at the screen saying it don't go on the radio it goes on the little SO239 socket what goes on the adapter well that's not any good for this application is it because I want to use it I don't want to use it connected to a power supply I want to use it like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna before I, I get I think I get like 10 days or some shit like that before I can complain to eBay what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and buy a better rubber duck. Um, this bloke on there recommended a specific one. So I might go and buy that one. It's the one that worked for him. And stick it on here. And then if I get the full 4 watts and it transmits alright and everything's okay. I'm happy. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to ask for money back. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm happy. Yeah. The rude seller and everything I can ignore. It's just the fact that this potentially doesn't work full power. So... Uh, yeah, any more advice that you lot might want to give me, please feel free to give it to me. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to repair the battery thing so I can put the full um, 12 volts of battery power. Yeah. And then I'm going to, in the meanwhile, I'm going to order a rubber ducker. <laughs> a rubber ducky. Um, a better one. I'll stick that on. And we'll go from there. And we'll see if we can get the full power out of it then. So I've got to do all that before my eBay time runs out. Anyway. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, you lot. And um, 
I don't want any sympathy, by the way. We don't do sympathy in negative comments, or we can do negative comments if you want, but negative thoughts on this channel. Um, before any of you start going, oh, well, you buy from eBay, you never know what you're going to get, or well, you buy from eBay, you get crap. Listen, you buy from eBay, you get what you get, but there's some lines that may be crossed, you know. If you buy something, you know, and you pay decent money for it, and it turns up and it and it isn't as was described then you get then you can complain but if it turns up and it's as described you know which may be faulty but it's you know might be described as being faulty then you you know whatever but this was described as being a fully operational radio with extra antennas which so far is not but anyway I'm not a complainer, so I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make sure that this does work and I don't have to complain, because I don't want to have to complain, but I will if I have to. Anyway, I'll catch you later, you lot, all the best, and uh, enjoy your day.